God killed him. You said you were gonna be done with the museum. To which I reply, I, I, I couldn't promise that, but I, I mean, we're pretty close. We did the boss fight. All that's left is co to confront Eve. And you wanna know how we're gonna do that? Uh, right here, right through that door. Oh boy, I might have to censor something, but uh, I don't think so. Uh, also, checking all the nooks and crannies because uh, treasure. I don't think there's actually any treasure around here. Just slime encrusted everything. I thought I had to be quiet because there was going to be some sort of FMV. Well, there you go, Super Prager's Eve. Um, normally, I would censor it because, you know, breasts, but there's no nipples, so uh, it, it doesn't count. I mean, you, you can say whatever you want, but it, it doesn't count. The game censored itself. I don't think I have to. Uh, if there's, like, a warning 18 or whatever put on here because YouTube standards uh yeah but I, I guess we should focus in on the game because you know he's like I'm pregnant why why do you have to interrupt my pregnancy you know I'm trying to I'm, I'm rubbing my belly because the baby um M Maya Ah, uh, jeez. This whole game just became Ghostbusters with the State Puff Marshmallow Man. Except instead of a delightful mascot, it's a giant slime monster. So it's not infringing on copyrighted material. Uh, are you okay, Aya? Uh, you know, uh, Eve escaped. She was pretty new to Pragers, but at the same time... Uh, you know, now we have a bigger problem on our hand. We got a giant slime monster. Oh, yeah, and, you know, the, the Central Park audience? Uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's what the giant slime monster is made of. And, basically, Eve is now inside it, controlling it. Immunosuppressed. Oh, okay. Basically, remember how Melissa was taking a bunch of medication? Uh, it was immunosuppressants. This is the reason. Uh, she wasn't aware that it was basically killing her. Uh, so, Melissa had a transplant when she was a kid. I uh, guess 
what transplant, or rather organ transplant, because they're about to say, yeah, it was your sister's kidney. She had an organ transplant. Maya died in an accident. Uh, her organs were donated. Melissa got a kidney. And so basically that's why she's Eve. Because the mitochondria from your sister's... Your sister's organ basically came in sync with Melissa and started trying to dominate, but at the same time, they really couldn't. And so, immunosuppressants made it all possible. Dr. Klump is responsible. Uh, and you might be wondering, how's that? How? Why? Well, you know, you see, uh, the doctor that was responsible for Aya and Maya, uh, it was Dr. Klump. Yeah, that's right, he was behind it all along. Uh, how he knew and why, I mean, uh, it's still a mystery. Maybe the mitochondria talked to him, I don't know. Yeah, our main man, Dr. Klump, he was there in the operations. Uh, yeah, they all screamed that the kidney was hot. I got a question, if they screamed that it was hot, why did they still, impl like, transplant it? I mean, don't, don't you feel like they'd be all, uh... I don't think this is safe. Why are we putting it into a little girl's body? Uh, it seems like it's... Even if it is compatible, I think it's gonna kill the host. Eve killed the host brain, so, you know, Melissa is dead. Cultured the kidney and obtained her own physical body. Yeah, basically, uh, the immunosuppressants. That's how it happened. The catalyst. Yeah, see, in Japan, Eve targeted a girl who uh, had undergone transplant. Same story, pretty much. Uh... But you see, it was, uh, it, it was your mom, I, uh, their transplant story, yeah, it lives symbolically with the other cells, so it's necessary to take the immunosuppressants to control the immunity and avoid rejection, so, you know, you take these drugs and they make it so mitochondria you can take control, uh, it's all, it's all, uh, it's all science. If she had gone to the doctor, she would have been told to give up the part. So, uh, Clamp was basically a back alley doctor. And, so, yeah, Clamp is basically the guy who's like, I'm gonna I'm make this happen. How he knew how to do and why, I, I'm still a little confused. I don't know the origin story on that, and I don't think they really talk about it. Although, Maya's original Eve. Like, I'm still a little confused. How did Clump know how to do all this stuff? Did the notes get passed? Did he get, like, some sort of insight or something? Did the mitochondria tell him? I don't know. Oh, yeah, the U.S. Navy military. Uh, finally, the time has come to put our power to the test. Uh, jet power, firepower, rockets... Because that worked so well the first time, Lynch, it shouldn't have to come to this. Uh, y yes, forgive me. Lynch, you're a dumbass. But anyways, calling all fire jets, we have just received permission to attack. Commence the operation. Head to the Statue of Liberty as planned the helicopter team. I will prepare for plan two. Uh, so, shit is going down, everybody. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure all y'alls are ready for all this high action. Well, are you sure? What? Oh, okay, you're in league with the Navy now. I mean, it makes sense. You're kind of acting as the chief director of the precinct or something along those lines. We'll be re repeating what? Okay, uh, yeah. You know, worked so well the first time.
Uh, no, Lorraine can't be a... Listen, Daniel, it's not Lorraine anymore. Because it's a giant slime monster. And I mean, even if Lorraine is part of it, there's other people in it. Uh, those cells must be where Eve's giving birth. Uh, yeah, you know, that huge creature its acting as a barrier. I mean, it, basically it is a giant barrier. It's like Gara's sand armor. think I can help Daniel. I, I think he's got a one-track mind. Also, uh, that thing can deflect bullets. I think the military is a little screwed. Everyone, duck, cover your heads. I, I think you're fine, to be honest. Not gonna lie. It, it, it seems to have landed off camera, so uh, we're, we're good, everybody. We're fine. There we go. I thought the game froze for a second. I was like, what the, what the fuck is going on? Officer Bria of the NYPD, correct? Ma'am, it is my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. Come to, uh, yeah, you know, good question. Uh, does the military know about her freaky deaky uh, ability to resist everything? And by resist everything, I mean use mitochondria. Welcome aboard to the Navy's Pride and Joy Nimitz. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Is that an actual thing? I feel like I should do a Google search on that, but damn it, I don't have enough time. I'm Williams. Oh, so you're the guy who's always belittling Lynch. Uh, so, uh, what is the deal? How do you know these things? You better not put I in danger. Dude, she's the only one that can do anything. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? It's quite alright, Lynch. Shut the fuck up. After all, he's right. Yeah, you see, uh, I is the only one that can do it. How we know about this is classified, but listen, it's a thing. It's It's gotta happen. The game is Parasite Eve, and she's the main character. Uh, wait, so what you're gonna do is put her into a chopper that's set on autopilot and have her land on top of it? <laughs> or is she gonna blow it to kingdom come? I, I'm, a, I'm a little confused. I mean, even if you put her into a chopper, that's not like it's guaranteed to work. The thing can shoot projectiles and blow her to kingdom come, so uh, I, I don't know if this is a great plan, to be honest. I, I guess I was just gonna deal with it, though. There, there's no way around it. It's the only option. To which I said, I don't know, just just nuke the thing from orbit or something. Uh, yeah, sure. New York City would would be destroyed, but I I'm just saying, at this rate, what chance do you have? It's a small sacrifice for the for the bigger picture. I mean, the ultimate being is gonna basically liberate everything, and by everything, I mean the mitochondria. And the mitochondria are gonna kill everybody, so, you know, I, I'd say maybe it's time for some heavy duty firepower. Not like tanks, I mean like rockets, nuclear warheads. And uh, maybe that's a little harsh. I don't know if I'm talking about this. I'm just saying, giant alien being, and by alien, I mean some sort of like te terroristic. That was a very short FMV. I mean, this thing is basically gonna take over the world in a very terroristic manner of, like, mind controlling everything. It's terrible either way you look at it.
Damn, yo, that thing traveled far away. Uh, the creature is so... Uh... Question, are the other choppers that are flying with you gonna sacrifice themselves so that you can shoot it to Kingdom Come? Last battle, we were able to anticipate this attack. We're in position, oh no. Those brave NPCs. They're literally sacrificing themselves because there's no other way. Uh, question. What about the autopilot? I mean, if it's this sophisticated. Does it not work that way? I mean, I is pretty much in sync with the other... The other choppers. I'm not sure how it works, but okay, alright. Time to fire. Time to shoot some missiles. Time to... Time to blow it to Kingdom Come. Ah, uh, yeah. This is insane. Because I have to end the video. I'm, I'm gonna end it off here. Um, so, I can't pause the video, but if, if you agree, it's insane, because, you know, since Christmas Eve, I put, a, I put a curse on my own body, and I apparently can't explode, I mean, even though the slime basically touched your copper, she just phased right through it, I don't know, cut it, cut the slime monster's finger off, uh, it's pre pretty crazy, if I do say so myself, but, uh, yeah, I, I think... I think there's really a whole lot to just kind of uh, think about between here and the next part.